The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. What kind of a word is that? Z A R F. It's a word. Czar? Yes. Let's see. That's a triple word score. So that gives me... No see. such word as czar, for Pete's sakes. Every time yes. we play Scrabble, you make a more idiotic word. Look it up in the dictionary. Oh, I will. I certainly will. Boy. <laughs> Look it up. Czar. You'll find it. Yeah. You know, you don't, really, phone, you? you don't really appreciate me, dear. You see, I have a much larger vocabulary than you yeah, do. Yeah, that's so. Well, this yes. one is in it. I'll yeah, tell you You can that. learn yeah. a lot from me, dear. If you, hello? Czar, yes? For Pete's sakes. Mother! For goodness sake, it's Mother. Yes, dear. Something wrong? Must be for her to call long distance. Yeah. Where's the dictionary? Oh, yes, Mother, I'm so sorry. I should have written you. Never mind, I got it, I got no, it. No, no, we won't be there for dinner no, that Wednesday. We'll drive over in the morning. Czar. Z-A-R-F. Yes, probably. No, we're sitting here playing Scrabble. Darling, there is no czar for yeah. the dictionary. I'm beating him and he doesn't like it. <laughs> Honey, there's no czar here, yeah. I told you. Hold on, Mother, we'll drive to Mother's that morning, won't we? Huh? Z- drive to Mother's Thanksgiving morning. We'll go in the morning, not the night before, probably, huh? Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, 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 I guess We'll so. be over that morning, Mother. Well, dear. All right, yeah. dear. No, no, everything's fine. I wouldn't believe it. Oh, still, still about got my cold, yeah. I've been right in my life. No, no, still in the garage. I don't know when we're getting in the house. I've almost Should given we? up. <laughs> All right, dear. We'll see you Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, did you find Zarf? Yeah. Yeah, Zarf, a cup-like holder, usually of ornamental metal, used for a coffee cup without a handle. Yeah, I'll see. Now, how in blazes did you know that? Oh, I looked up some Z's the other day. I never know any. <laughs> What's the matter? What'd you what just say it? to your mother about Thanksgiving? I said we'd be over there that morning. Why? We're going to my folks for Thanksgiving. Well, now, you don't need to look at me like that. Weeks ago, weeks ago... Oh, we now were, look here. Now, now look here. This weeks is what... ago, Mother asked us to come over there for Thanksgiving, and we said yes, we would no, she come over there. The first. The first I have ever... Ugh. My mother has been planning on us. Look, well, she'll just have to change her plans, then, because my folks asked us weeks ago, and we're going there for Thanksgiving. Uh... <laughs> You know, everybody has his own definition of fun, and we wouldn't presume to make one for you personally. The best we can do is to schedule a wide variety of shows and hope, as the facts bear out, that you'll find enough of what you want to keep tuned to the star's address. Two tempting evening shows that work out very well with you folks are the Amos and Andy Music Hall and the Robert Q. Lewis Show. Of course, we're being pretty shrewd with these shows, playing a couple of sure things. Almost nobody in show business has more experience with your taste in entertainment then Freeman, Gosden, and Charles Correll. Add music, songs, surprise guest stars to the merry mischief-making of Amos and Andy, and, well, let's admit it, you can't miss. And that's the formula that spelled new success for old friends on the Amos and Andy Music Hall on CBS Radio. And it's the same way with the Robert Q. Lewis Show. With a whale of a background in show business, Robert Q. Lewis can't miss either. So tune in his gang tonight, and you'll get the point with Room to Spare. Now, look, there is no sense going on what? about it. We're not getting anywhere this time. No, way seriously, don't you remember when my mother asked us for Thanksgiving? No, I don't, dear. Because my mother said something ages ago, and I've just always had it in my mind that we were going there. Well, look, I know my folks are planning on well, us. Well, I know my mother's planning on us. Yeah, well, it's obvious we can't go two places. Oh, why do we have to go through this every year? Every year, no matter where we go, the hey. other one's feelings are hurt. Why? Hey, why don't we what? drive over that Wednesday night, spend the evening with your mother, have an early dinner the next day with, with her, see, and then get in the car and drive over to my folks. It's a two-hour drive. Well, that's all right. Then we'll be ready for dinner again when we get there. But I cannot eat two Thanksgiving dinners. Well, you can make that No, I can't. I just can't. Besides, after we had dinner at noon at my mother's, we'd have to leave, and it's not nice to eat and run. Her feelings would be hurt if we don't stay and visit. Well, can't we visit in the morning? Oh, visit in the morning. We'll be in the kitchen getting the dinner ready, bustling around. It's not the same thing. That's all. We just can't do it. Well, then I don't see any solution except to ask them all here. Here? 
A Thanksgiving dinner in the garage here? No, we don't have to make a big thing of it. We'll just ask Mother and Dad, and, and you see, and you just ask your mother, and we'll make it a very simple family gathering. The grandparents will be here with Betsy and Bobby. That's the main thing, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm afraid that's what we'll have to Look, do. Look, we can manage all right. Don't mm. worry about it. They won't be staying overnight. Uh, yes, yes, all right, I suppose. All right, dear, you call your mother and see what she says. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 Mother. We think it'd be a lot better if if you came here, huh? Oh, well, well. Wait a minute. Hold, 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 hold on, just a second. What's the matter? Well, seems that Mother has already asked Aunt Effie and Aunt Martha and Uncle George for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh no. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you think? What do you think? We sort of have to include them, don't we? I mean, well, you we know. decided. I thought not to have anybody but our parents. Well, look, I thought that was already been asked. Out. I mean, asked the mothers. Now she just can't walk off somewhere else and leave them. <laughs> All right, all right. Huh? Ask them all over here. We'll make yeah. up somehow. Anyway. Mother? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Of course she wants them. No, no, Mother. You you didn't... Well, we'll be expecting you. Fine. Huh? Oh, well, hold on a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Do you want Mother to bring the turkey? Uh, no, I do not want your mother to bring the turkey. For heaven's sakes, if we're asking them to dinner, I guess we can furnish the turkey. Well, I don't act like no. that. Mother's just being nice. But... Hello, hello, Mom. She said, no, no, thanks, darling. We, we, we've already ordered one. You haven't ordered it yet. But I yeah, we're going to order. I mean, we've bought. Yeah. Fine. We'll, we'll, we'll see you Thanksgiving then. <laughs> All right. Okay, goodbye, darling. Why do you act like that? Mother's just being nice. Your mother has a fit if anybody comes to her house and brings any food. But every time we ask them here to dinner, she brings cakes and pickles and cookies and meats. You'd think we hadn't planned on giving them any food. Well, mother's just being nice. I took some oatmeal cookies over to her house one weekend. One time we went over there, and that whole weekend, every now and then, your mother would say, Oh, I guess she doesn't like my cookies. <laughs> she felt she had to bring her own. Oh, look, do we don't... I know you think I'm being unpleasant, but you know that's exactly what she said. And yet she brings tons of food when she comes here. As though I didn't even know how to cook. Oh, honey, why do you... Look, I that? like your mother, I really do, well, but she does not. some little things I don't like. Well... Now... I've got to call my mother back and tell her we can't come. Ask her over here. She was ordering her turkey tomorrow. The reason Mother brings stuff when she comes over here is that she knows that they're my favorites, that's all. Like that, that black raspberry jam, you know. I she want to call Cass. Had it when I was a kid, and she's, you know. Fremont 2, 6, 7, 8, 4. Still makes it. Yes, thank you. I can't get over these small towns having such big numbers. Well, that's the new telephone system, I guess, going in all over. Look, you better not tell your mother that Aunt Effie and all the rest of them are coming over here, too. Why? Well, I thought we were trying to keep it cut down. If your mother knows they're coming, she'd probably want to bring your grandma and your Aunt Ruth, too, and heaven knows who. Well, if she asks, I'll have to tell her. Otherwise, she'll come over here and see all your aunts and uncles. Then she'll wonder why I didn't ask Grandma and Aunt Ruth. Oh. It seems to me that if we're going to have your... Hello? Mother? Listen. Well, our plans have changed, and we want you to come over here for Thanksgiving. Well, it's too complicated to go into now, Mother, but it's really easier anyhow for you than it is for us with a baby and everything. No, no. No, his folks are coming over here. What's she say? Well, Mother, just makes things less complicated. Yes, I know. We figured on that. You, you, you bring them along. Well, you just ask Grandma and Aunt Ruth and say we're expecting them to... All right, I'll drop them both a note. <laughs> All right. No, no, don't bring a thing. Well, Mother, I, I can make pumpkin pies. It's... Oh. Well, if you want to, dear, uh, honey, yes. Darling, wait a minute, will you? Hold my, on. My, my mother's bringing pumpkin pies. What? Well, what could I say? She, she said she was bringing them. Mother, don't bother. He just said his mother was bringing the pumpkin pies. Oh, no. Well, Mother, don't act that way. Well, well I don't think you should bring them if she is. Well, you can eat hers just once, can't you? What's the matter? Well... All right, bring minced meat pies then. Oh, for... All right, Mother. Fine. Yes, I will. Goodbye, dear. <sighs> What's the matter? Nothing. What'd she say? Nope. Nothing, dear. Well, it was certainly something. I can see it in your face. Perhaps. My mother doesn't like your mother's pumpkin pies. Oh. Mother doesn't like nutmeg, and your mother puts nutmeg in everything. Oh, for Pete's sake, I... Well, I, I... you ask, and I just think it's better if my mother doesn't bring the same thing. Because she's very likely to say... Who wants pumpkin pie without nutmeg in it? <laughs> yeah, she probably would, too. Yeah, she would, I'm Boy, sure. I tell you, getting their families together with their pumpkin pies is really something, isn't it? And Mother is going to tell Aunt Ruth we expect them, but I've got to drop a note to each of them. They'll feel they weren't invited. Oh, you know, you get it, will you? 
have more complications. You get it, Jeff. Yeah, I'll get, get it. Get it. All right. Hello. Yeah. Mother. What's the matter now? Whoa. You mean you've already asked them? Oh, golly, golly. I don't know. Oh, boy. Hold, hold on a minute, Mother. Hold on. It's Mother again. Mine? No, mine. She forgot to tell us that she'd also ask old Mrs. Jensen and her sister for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Is it all right if she brings them on over here, too? Oh, for heaven's sake, who are they? Well, they live across the street. So we're just going to have our folks. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, I know. What will I say? Ask them. What else can we do? Yeah. Mother, bring them along. What? Oh, Ma, no. We, 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 we just can't. What's the matter? Well, hold on a minute. What? Mother thinks we ought to say something to Dorothy, too. Your sister? Yeah. Say what to her? Ask them over, too. Well, that's three more. Yeah. With Harry and Buddy. Besides that, I don't feel any obligation to your sister, Dorothy. Well, that... Not once in all the years we've been married has she ever asked us for any holiday. Not one, dear, never. She always works it so she doesn't have the family of her know, house. So I she know, doesn't have I any know, of the work. But never mind. I, She's I... the only one who never helps with dishes or a thing. She always disappears that, when it's time for dishes. There'll be hard feelings. Now, look, let's not start anything now. I'll, I'll, I'll tell Mother we'll call Dorothy, huh? Well, if you huh? can figure out how to have 16 or more people in this garage for Thanksgiving dinner with all our furniture piled up, Dozens of boxes and cartons. I mean, this whole thing has gotten completely out of hand. I thought we were just going to have mother, my mother I'll call you and back. your mother we and my mother. we got to figure out how to do this. Right, you are absolutely right. We cannot have 16 people in this garage for Thanksgiving dinner. Look, why don't we call up both our families and tell them, forget the whole thing, we can't manage it. So that nobody's feelings will be hurt. We'll stay here by ourselves and have our own Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, no, dear, there won't be any fun for Betsy. Well, it won't be any fun for you trying to get dinner with all that 16 people jammed in here. Well, it is Thanksgiving, and I see how your mother feels. She likes to have her children around, too. Call Dorothy and invite them. Now that we don't have room... Well, we will have room. We're going to move into the house. Into the house, you crazy... Mr. Dibble say it would be ready? No, I said so. I'm tired of this. I can take just so much. But darling, the painting and the papering isn't even started. Well, it's going to be finished. When Mr. Dibble arrives in the morning, we'll tell him we intend to entertain a Thanksgiving dinner in our new house. Oh, honey, I don't think all that papering and painting can be finished by that Then time. we're moving in anyhow. Huh? Even if there are buckets of paint and wallpaper paste and stepladders all over, it'll be better than living in this garage. Ready or not, we're moving in. Oh, well, okay. But don't tell the family. We'll surprise them. Won't it be fun? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess oh, so. Yes, Dorothy won't help with anything, so all the women will be mad at oh, her. Oh, well. Uncle George will fall asleep in the living room and snore all afternoon. <laughs> My dear brother-in-law will tell me what he doesn't like about the house, how he would have done it differently. Oh, sure. And Aunt Effie will tell the same story she tells every oh, Thanksgiving. Yes. And after they're gone, you'll be exhausted. Oh, well, honey, it's the same in every family. Now, let's just be thankful we have them, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Now, I'll order the turkey tomorrow, and yeah. I think... The Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce and is produced by Walter Hart. This was an original old radio broadcast presented by Radio of Yesteryear. Carol Hawkins speaking.